Hey guys, welcome back. In this uh, lesson, I want to talk about the quantity of charge or how many electrons are on an object but also how many elementary charges are on an object. And the reason I really want to focus on this in, in, in a little short lesson is because I see students so many times confusing this variable Q and its unit of Coulomb with E, not electron, which is shown by E with a little minus, but what an elementary charge is. So let's go into that and we'll talk exactly what the difference is and how you can find how much charge is on an object. First and foremost, let's just take something like a proton. A proton, as we've seen in my previous video, is has a charge of plus one E. And for an explanation of what E is, go back and look at that video. And we see that that really means that there is plus one times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th Coulomb. So the, the proton has a Q of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th Coulomb. Okay? Guys, all charges have this variable Q. Q is what goes in formulas where Coulomb is its unit. So Q is to Coulomb as like velocity would be to meters per second or as like uh, time is to seconds. So we have to make sure that we understand this goes in formulas right here and this is our unit. And the way we're going to be able to be able to use E now is they're going to say, for example, how much charge does an object with an excess of 40 protons have? Okay, now this is really an easy process for you to figure out if you know what E is. So if, if we look up here, if one proton is plus one E, and I want to know what 40 protons is, I'm just going to take 40, and I'm going to multiply that by E. So we really would say 40 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th Coulomb. And what that would give me is that would give me the charge of 40 protons. And you could do this with an excess of any type, any amount of um, charges. If it was, say for example, the charge of 7,000 electrons, well, then you would just come and say, okay, well, one electron has a charge of minus 1E. Therefore, 7,000 electrons would be 7,000 E. Oops. So we could say 7,000 times the value for E, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs because E equals this amount of charge. All right, and this would now, when you multiply that out using your calculator, this is the charge of 7,000 E's. So that's how we go from having an amount of electrons or an amount of protons to its charge. When I want to go back the other way, things can get a little bit more confusing. Now we can say 
how many electrons are on an object that has one coulomb of charge. So now, instead of me giving you the electron amount and having you go to charge, I'm going to go the opposite way. So now I say I have one coulomb of charge. How many E's is that? Well, I have to think about, do I know the charge of one E? Well, one E is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulomb. That's the charge of an electron. So if I were to take one coulomb and I divided it by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulomb, I would get an amount of E's. I mean elementary charges. This is how many elementary charges would be located on this item. When you do the math on that, you find out that it comes out to 6.25 times 10 to the 18th E's. This is how many elementary charges are on this amount of charge right here. All right, This is how we found that out. So there's going to be two processes. One, to go from an amount of protons, neutrons, and electrons, we multiply by little e, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs, okay? But to go from charge, which will be some q number, to, oops, let's just get rid of that, that's a little time on. to an amount of e's, I'm going to divide so for example we would take one coulomb of charge if I want to know how many E's I would divide that by the value of one E and that would give me an amount of E's All right, so this is something that you're going to have to be able to do. You're going to have to go back and forth between finding the amount of charge on an object this way and finding out how many electrons are on a charge when given the amount of charge. And you can do this for every single charge in the universe, but they all must be positive multiples of this. You can have 1e, e, 2e, e, 3e, e, 4e, etc. But never can you have a fraction of an E. You can't have one half of an E. E is the smallest slice available. All right, guys, I hope that helps you find out um, how much charge when given an amount of electrons and also find out how many electrons when given Q a charge. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll catch you on the next one.